Hey guys, this is What You're Looking At, and today we got the review on the Tachyon Ops HD Helmet Slash Gun Cam. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, uh, as you saw by the intro today, today we are going to be going over the Tachyon Ops HD Helmet Slash Gun Cam. Okay guys, uh, just like any review, we're going to start off with what you get in the box and also just a little bit of look at the box itself. Um, as you can tell by looking at this box, roughly the same size as the SD box. I'm going to go too much into a comparison here. But uh, as you see, really nice graphics all over the box, you know, just professional looking on the outside. But of course, though, we want to know what's inside the box. So opening it up, you get this nice egg carton container. Keeps everything together. Um, let's go over what actually comes in this container now. Okay, as always, starting off with the important papers that come with the camera. First, we got your certification of the complimentary 3M dual lock. Pretty much just uh, think of it as Velcro and steroids, hook and loop. Very good material. That stuff will never go bad on you. And then, of course, our very brief manual, more of just like a couple of paragraphs telling you how to use the camera. But, of course, why look at this when you got me? That's what the review's for. Okay, first thing we have here is the impact shield. Very nice, clear plastic. Protects your camera from any hits while it's not in the Picatinny row mount. Okay, so the first mount is the tripod mount. Um, you can pretty much consider this a universal mount as long as you can find something that holds that bottom screw here. So you don't necessarily have to use this for a tripod, but uh, that's probably what you'd most likely use it for. Moving on to the second mount, we have the helmet contour mount here. This can pretty much either fit on the top as I'd see it used the most, or you can use it like I do on the sides of the helmet. Uh, pretty much you just put the uh, 3M dual lock on the bottom here as well as your helmet or whatever desired rounded surface you choose to put it on I'd say let it cure for about I'd say at least 12 hours probably a day would be the best and then your camera will be ready to use the final mount that comes with the Tacan Ops HD which happens to be my favorite is the clip mount as I like to use this in conjunction with the Tachyon hat they brought me and not just because it's a Tachyon hat but because I love that color this works good with uh, any desert and any OD color so you know it just happened to fit the quota for me um, on top of putting this on hats you can put this on vest and many other objects as I will show you later on in the video okay guys next in this small little ziplock you'll get two items one you'll get uh, what I would say is probably a three millimeter allen key um, it's a universal size for all the mounts that come with the Tachyon Ops HD this will work with any mount uh, as far as securing it, tightening it, adjusting it, taking it on and off, etc. And then you get the USB charging cable. The last thing that comes with the Tachyon Ops HD is this tether. Um, something I'd really never see myself use, but in the bottom right, right beside the locked indication of the lock and unlock button, uh, there's the hole for the tether. Okay guys, another thing I got from Tachyon is the Tachyon Ops Picatinny rail mount. Uh, really nice piece here as you see it is a complete metal casing and surprisingly this doesn't actually mess up the audio at all but um some features to keep in mind when this is actually um put on the gun say if you have something right directly behind the uh the camera itself you really can't get to the button on the back so there's a button here on the side and basically what that does as long as you have the camera on the right way it will push this button right here and that will actually turn the camera on also and another cool thing about this is that this also comes with this decently thick piece of plastic that way you have added protection for the camera lens itself on top of the metal housing. Okay guys, moving to the back of the camera now, here is where all of the controls are. The slider button on the left, this is selector mode, uh, pretty much selected between video or time lapse photo. When it's in the up mode, that's video camera. When it's down, that's time-lapse photo. That means every two seconds, this camera will take a picture. On the right side, we have the unlock switch 95% uh, of the time. Keep that in the unlock switch unless you're putting it in storage. Maybe putting in the lock switch would help, but besides that, there's really no big purpose to it. The big button right here in the middle, that is the power button. You hold it in for about, I'd say, half a second. And that turns the camera on. As you see right now, though, we have no memory card, so it will blink on us. To turn it off, you hold it in. And you'll hear those two uh, pretty significant beeps. That way you know the camera is off. To actually put our memory card in, we have this little rubber slit right here. 
all you got to do is you know use your fingernail you can pull that right down and then you'll get your micro SD cards um, I would say definitely get at least a class 6 I have a class 10 here to get the, you know the best footage as possible you just put that right in and unless you got a bigger nail you'll have to use something to kind of push that in all the way and then when you have the memory card in and you push the button you'll hear the same sound but you'll see a green light followed by a red light that way you know you're recording and you know you're actually taking video right now okay now to turn the camera off do the same thing you hold that button in and you'll hear those two beeps and the camera will go right off and generally for a four gigabyte uh, SD card as I have here you'll get one hour of footage for an 8 gigabyte card you get two hours and then the maximum you can use is a 16 gigabyte card which will give you four hours of footage which is also the maximum charge time for this camera when it comes to charging I just like to plug mine right into the computer as you can see right here there's my charging cord and then we got the other end right here just use your fingernail again flip that flap down and then just plug this right in and you know it's charging when the blue light's on and then you'll know the camera is done charging when that blue light actually turns off. Okay, something else I thought would be nice to show you during this video is how to apply the 3M tape. So basically, we got your 3M strip right here. You're just going to want to cut this out in two separate pieces. So here we go. And after you cut off your desired pieces, you're just going to peel off the 3M clear piece off the back of the piece. Put it up there. Make sure you line it up good. Put it as close to the other one as possible. And then push that up there. And you really don't have to hold this up there for that long. Just push it up that way you know all the way around. It's touching. And it's up there good. And now you should let this uh, cure. I did mine for a day. And then after that, if you like, you can just get a razor or a box cutter and cut off all the uneven edges as you see it's left right here okay guys and now as I promised you the comparison of the two cameras <laughs> yes I know you didn't see that one coming this is the Tachyon Ops SD version this records in what I believe is 480p as it is just a standard definition I can get that to go up into 480p up on YouTube so I'm pretty sure that's what it records in and then this is the Tachyon HD which records in 720p this one's available for $80. This one's available for $140. Um, if you're a, really on a budget, this is a really good way to go. If you're someone that wants to double up on gun cameras, say you want the higher definition one to look out at the enemy as you're recording, you know, slap that right into the gun cam or the Picatinny rail mount, and you can have that facing the enemy, and then on the same rail, have your smaller one facing you. It makes for a very very dynamic video and you can be surprised how nice you can make a video like that as I said these first videos are just for the comparison of the quality in between the two and uh, generally since these are both the ops series this should be the same audio I've never actually sat down and listened to the audio of both but I know for a fact the uh, audio of both is actually pretty good this is the Tachyon Ops HD I'm just gonna do the same walkthrough for both just walking into a room, turning around. Um, keep in mind this is inside, it's dark outside. This is just a comparison in between the two and not of the quality in itself, as you can imagine. But uh, yeah, this is the audio of the HD. As you can tell, it's very good quality and uh, very fluid and definitely an improvement over the XC series. Okay guys, to wrap up the comparison in between these two cameras, uh, as you can see definitely that size difference and as far as audio and video quality as you can tell uh, generally the audio quality is on par with each other they're pretty much the same but for some reason the uh, standard definition camera has that little hiccup in the first five seconds where it sounds like it goes in and out but then after that the audio is just fine so as long as you're not turning on the camera the second you're shooting the guy you know you should be fine Okay guys, in conclusion for the Tachyon Ops HD camera, I am just 
I don't want to say blown out the water because I was expecting it. Um, you know, for $140, it's a brand new camera. So, you know, you can expect in the future that this camera might go down in price, even as the ops has already gone down from $90 to $80. So, um, but for $140, I would buy five of these. You know, you can get these for every member of the team. Uh, personally, in my mind, 720 is more than enough for playing out in the field. And on top of that, the audio is on par with, in my mind, it's on par with any other camera out there right now. And, you know, these are made specifically for the dry sports. And even when you put your impact armor on the top or put your Picatinny uh, rear mount on the camera, it works just fine. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a What You're Looking At review of the Tachyon Ops HD camera, and I'm out.